Uh, Dave, we got you. Holy fuck balls, man. It's about Dude, fucking time. Fuck this. There we go. It's Skype's fault, man. This is fucked. Uh, I'm in the middle of unloading my car full of fucking groceries, so if I leave or if I unmute, you'll know why. Okay, Mr. Priorities. No, I'm just kidding. Throw you out of the fucking rumble. Throw you out of the rumble right there. All right, let's go. It's time for the Raw Review now that uh, Skype is sort of working. (laughs) Fuck you guys. I'm going to have some wine and fucking listen to your banter. Yeah, it's not going to be I'm, long, I'll tell you that. We're going to it's going to be a short one tonight. So be be around. Motherfucker, I, I stayed up for this. I, I know. <laughs> but Are you fucking kidding? Oh, heal Dave. Here oh it comes. fuck. Well, you know. <sighs> I told Leah right when you said that, I was like, "Hey Leah, I'll do all this stuff cuz uh, you know, Dave ain't going to be there." So let's just <laughs> And then you and Oh my then, god. And then you came back later like, "Hey, I'm ready." And I was like, "Oh, wait. Uh but uh, yeah, Tommy, I pump myself full of steroids and everything. Oh, Tom- shit. Tommy, how do I fix Skype? What do I have to do? Go kill somebody? <laughs> I don't know, man. You got me. You, you got as bad as much um, chance of fixing Skype as Dean Ambrose you has. Me, getting Cronin, a win. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> I was. Uh, hey, Leo's- did Ambrose get a win? Is is it okay for him to get a win? Didn't he, he have like, a win? Big- tribute to the troops. He did win a tribute. Oh, to the that's troops. great. Oh, that's nice. Slaughter yeah. gave him a loaded boot. Yeah, <laughs> he did. He was fucking steel toe boot, man. It was awesome. Well, let's have him lose because he's a moron and he doesn't and he doesn't understand that the TV is plugged in below the ring and and then <laughs> he, and, he did pull the TV again, but this time he put it back in the packaging. Notice they made oh. him look like a moron again tonight, kind of. They did. Yeah, I noticed they that did. they've been doing it. Made him and look like Wyatt a moron. was not over. Did anyone notice that? How fucking like the crowd did not seem to give a fuck about Wyatt tonight. Yeah, they've had enough of him. Yeah, they've I had enough that. of this fucking feud, is what they've had. They've had those of- the, those guys have the worst possible chemistry. Not as far as like not not in the ring. I don't think the matches are all that bad. No, uh, you're they, right. You're right. No, the matches aren't all that bad. It, it's it's just the two characters. Like you you, you had this yeah. like enraged character that his friends his team was broken up by, his, and then we turned that into an almost like an we changed that which was really working, and we put him in sort of a quasi Undertaker creepy character, and they just. Their stories don't complement each other, no. and it's just it's bizarre. It's bizarre. Like like when he comes out, like when when uh, Ambrose comes out to fight Seth Rollins, like yeah, kick his ass. That guy's a traitor. He he stabbed you in the back. When he comes out to 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 fight, yeah, um, Bron Wyatt, it's like, oh yeah, you're fighting a weird guy. You yeah, know, they killed this. They killed this whole thing. I they feel like the, I feel like in any second they're just gonna stop fighting and be like, "We're a tag team, right?" Yeah, like why not? Any fucking moment, any moment, it's like it just the, something feels wrong about this whole thing. It's fucking bizarre. Man. Although yeah. at one point in time, I don't think that would be the worst tag team in the world. You know, it's <laughs> hilarious yeah. that Ambrose just started doing a promo and he's just like, "You know that rocking chair? I really like that rocking chair. <laughs> I'll have uh, a match for it." But it I, was, I tell you it was her rocking chair. She sat in the rocking chair. It was her. You know what? After she sat on the rocking chair, she sat on my face. You know, his sister's a pretty big fitness chick. She could wrestle. She could be Sister Abigail any day of the week. Who's yeah. sister? The Wyatts. Uh, oh, yeah, that Rotunda family. My God. Yeah, I get IRS coming down What are they, goddamn Samoan or something? Shit. Oh, and IRS, baby. IRS has got great genes. Yeah. Yeah, Irwin R. Shyster, motherfuckers. Irwin R. Yeah, Shyster. He's pumping up great wrestling names of all time. Was Irwin R. Shyster? It is Irwin R. Irwin R. Spinkler, you know. <laughs> well, you know Bray and Bo. They were like, well, we can only go up from here because I mean, we get to be Bray Wyatt and Bo Dallas, and mm. you know, Dad wore a goddamn tie to the ring every time. <laughs> it's suspenders. Yeah, and bow tie. Those red fruity suspenders. Those are great. Hey, big shout out to Damian Sam How- Sandow, who is doing the absolute best in a bad situation. <laughs> I don't know how bad <laughs> a lot. Is. Boy, they are dragged that guy through the mud. And he's, I, I, to be honest with you, that's about the worst angle that you could have been handed since Moppy. I, I, and he's handling it exactly like Perry Saturn did as best he can and doing a pretty good job. And people love Everybody it. Everybody see Moppy? <laughs> <laughs> Moppy. The difference was when Perry sat and wrestled in the ring, it was like fucking watching Moppy fuck. <laughs> it was terrible. You didn't like Perry Saturn? I, not, I not at that point. He actually went to my wrestling school. Um, <coughs> no, he went to wrestling. He wrestled around here. He's from here. Army Army Ranger, you, uh, uh, Army Ranger, by the way. He looks like one. Yeah, he's an Army Ranger and a shooting victim. And a cocaine so, heroin. Yeah, he had a cocaine problem, too. But he no, saved somebody from being raped. Like that booger wow. sugar. Loves that nose candy. That's awesome. Yeah. That's anybody that does that. 
He's um, like, yeah, like Perry Saturn's kind of a badass. So you know? now that I got you guys on here, who's going to hit 100 first? SmackDown changes times or Big Show turns he, uh, baby face? <laughs> who's going to hit 100 first? Look at the baby. God damn it. <laughs> You know, I got something bizarre to say about that match. I was actually, in a weird way, okay, okay with that Reigns Big Show match. No, you weren't. Is that oh my weird? god, dude! I didn't even see it, but that kind of sounds like something you'd want to puke on. Yeah, it's, really? it, it was. You, you like that match? I was. It wasn't that good, but I was like interested in a way. I was like, oh, nothing really happened. It ended up happening though, and then Big Show got counted out, and it was like, oh, this is. You know, they could do a bit where Reigns does a promo and Big Show cries. <laughs> <laughs> and then they throw his father's coffin at him. <laughs> yeah. Somebody posted a gif the other day of like Big Show saying something to him like, you're a little bitch or something. And then Big Show, then Roman saying like, you're a bitch or something. And like said like, oh, did you get mad at him for punching him for real? And it was like, yeah. people were like freaking out about that it might be real or something. Like he accidentally hit him and Big Show wasn't happy. And if you do watch the tape, Big Show does make a crazy mad face. And um, normally, <laughs> but normally when he makes a crazy mad face, it looks fake. It looks because he's not very good at acting sometimes. It, <laughs> it, it seems fake. You're like, oh, he's acting like the heel. But no, this was kind of like he was fucking like, was like You hit me, motherfucker. Yeah, he had a different look on his face. It was weird. The fans hated the match. They were chanting boring throughout. I, I, my, my note on this match was, man, this makes me want to punch babies. <laughs> I hated the ending. It was a terrible fucking match, man. It was really bad. And you know what? I, I did not think Raw was all that terrible tonight. It started off good, but that match in particular was fucking just awful. Well, The ending sucked, too. Like, yeah. it got to 10 and then shows like, Hulk smash! Well, the fucking match is over, asshole. Good job. That whole fucking thing was, no was just garbage. It was like... Um... Just he, it was just here we go. Let's put some Christmas trees out there and. All right, all right. I'll, uh, I, sorry, this is off subject, but I'm pretty pissed. I just bought two bottles of moonshine, and this is seventy proof. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck <laughs> yeah, you, you got ripped. You got ripped. You might not even go blind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> seventy. You might proof. not even hit a woman or anything. <laughs> yeah. No. I, Fuck. If I had like a hundred proof and drank like what I normally drink, like. I think I would start masturbating and like walking out the door like slowly. Well, I was like, hoping for at least 110 for fuck's sake. Yeah, you know, I could just see me stroking my dick slowly and like looking around at this like glazed over look and start walking down the street to the store without even knowing it. Next thing you know, I'm a sex offender all because, you know, <laughs> I don't go blind. I didn't hit anybody. Hey, why is there a red dot over? Wait a minute. Yeah, I got the moonshine. <laughs> I mean, that's that's yeah, what I do. Yeah, that's bullshit. What are you, a fucking hillbilly buying moonshine? Jesus Christ. Have you seen his pictures? <laughs> hey, fuck you. I'm quitting smoking, you fuck. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck you, smoking. liver. Fuck you, liver. Hey, I quit yeah, smoking. Right. I started doing two lines of cocaine and uh, fucking moonshine. <laughs> hey, I just, <laughs> right. I'll get well, I'm going to take, take the calls here, and then we'll get to Dave's copious amounts of notes. Yes, but I do have a Christmas present for you, and it is my copious amounts of notes. And by <laughs> the way, an announcement, the great Isaac Rojas is making a copious amounts of shirt. Shirt, it's oh, coming gosh. soon, children. Ooh. It's coming soon, just like Dave. Coming soon. Hey, Dave, I noticed you ripped off my meme segment on your show. I didn't rip it off. I made it better. Yeah, and I put it at the beginning and the ending of a show where it mm. should be. I it, put mine at I the end of the show. I was inspired by you. I will okay. say yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like Tommy I say that too. By the poker thing? <laughs> Yeah, well, I figured you don't mind if Tommy can fucking steal your poker. Yeah, you know, you steal a fucking me in, meme. Yeah, like, bro, dude, you should have put me in line. My right head away. almost exploded. <laughs> I was watching. I'm watching the fucking videos of Dave, and then I hit the meme thing came out, and my head almost exploded. I was like, that motherfucker! What the fuck? I, I've been doing it for two weeks, man. I've been doing mine for fucking six weeks. Well, congratulations for you. Mine are better. <laughs> Yours are not better. They're way better. You just put them way. up, and that's all you do. I fucking talk yeah, about them. I, yeah, I don't ruin them by talking about them. Yeah, don't talk about them, you fucking thief. What are you fucking... <laughs> goddamn fucking... Oh. Ooh, the, the what are you, Haterade. Tyson kid? You gonna put a fucking fact t-shirt on, too? Oh, God, right? <laughs> what a cunt. I told him on Twitter, you don't, don't fuck around, I'll fucking hurt you. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I got a lawyer, motherfucker. You better keep that hashtag off of there if you don't want to get sued. You want to hit him? You're going to hit me now? You're going to beat Tommy? You just want to whoop us all? Jesus, man. Yeah, I'm sick of this, man. Merry Everyone Christmas. Take him. Larry David took my fucking idea fucking five <laughs> years ago. Larry David's a great Somebody took Dave's idea, too. I had to listen to that in 2012. Yeah, well, it happened. Yeah. No, it didn't. It yeah, didn't fuck you, J.J. Abrams, okay? But I did fuck steal you. your poker idea. That's a fucking fuck tantrum. It was my idea. Wait Four a minute. Fucking years old. You wanted to, yeah, you wanted, you wanted to go Jew? 
<laughs> I got a great idea. I'll become Jewish and become a director. That was the plan. Oh, that was the plan. No, he is. Uh, he is Hanukkah. Graham, what's up? Yo, what's up, fellas? Superstar oh. Billy Graham. Hey, oh. I decided. I decided because I know that Christmas rolls usually suck. Yeah. I decided that tonight I was going to play a game. It's find some weird shit in raw. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Two things I found, or actually three. Uh, first was Roddy Piper's spray tan was fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and his boner was too. Oh, you see that? <laughs> Yo, R- Roddy, Roddy, something about him being in that ring, he just gets way too goddamn excited in the ring. He scared the fuck out of Lana. Did you see that? Oh, she was not yeah. prepared for oh. Roddy yelling at her. <laughs> oh, it was so it was so damn funny though when 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 yeah, he that said I you shut up you. When he said I got <laughs> when he said I got a present, I got a surprise and I got a present for you and then Ryback come out with a bow on. I fucking lost oh. my mind. That was the f- best part of Rod and I think. Oh my god, Ryback came out with a bow. He goes, Roddy Piper goes, I got a present for you. You're not that bad or whatever. I got a present for you. And then Ryback came out with a bow on. It was fucking. Bow on it. Yeah, that was great. It was full on retard, but it was funny. <laughs> Love it. It's always good when Ryback goes full on retard. Yeah. Damn right. All right. What else? Yo, what else did you all see? Right. I am all right. Number two, you got a quick glimpse of the bunny's face when Adam Rose took off that goddamn neck brace. Oh, yeah. The mask came up when he, uh, when he hit when the he stairs. Fell. And you got a quick glimpse of the face before he ripped the mask back down. It's not Hunico, as they're saying in the fucking shit. Wait, it's not Hunico. It's a white dude. I was, uh, I was uh, under the impression it was Sami Zayn or That's... Justin Gabriel. Those are the two guys. I I've knew it wasn't of. Justin Gabriel because it's too big, but Sami yeah, Zayn. Yeah, tonight it definitely wasn't Justin Gabriel. Shouldn't Sami Zayn be talking about the interview somewhere with somebody? No, but uh, he could fit in that bunny. He could fit in that bunny. He could be Sami Zayn. And he's agile enough. Oh yeah. Maybe well, just the guy right. that just watches <laughs> into his car, and he's just really, ad, you know, athletic. Yeah. Well, uh, what else you got? And uh, the last one was, was fucking bunny. Is it is it just me, or does the tattoo on Bray Wyatt's left arm look in every match like he just got cut the fuck open from his shoulder yeah. to his elbow? <laughs> yeah, I would. I'm right I was there. thinking the exact same thing. I, I, you know what? It, you know what's funny about that is I know it, and I still gets me every time. I'm like, is he bleeding? Oh yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> I do it every fucking time. I was thinking the same fucking thing when I was watching that. That's so funny. <laughs> Tatanka, you know who Tatanka? That would happen with me with Tatanka sometimes because he'd have those red little furry things, and I'd be like, is he bleeding? No, we're just all yee, so. Yee, 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 yee. No, he's just Indian, Michael. We're just all so blood crazy that we're like, hell yeah, he's. Oh yeah, it's. Uh... It's a good thing we referenced the Mishinoku driver tonight. Yes, yeah, I laughed. That Mark was great. Was pulling off some fucking moves, ain't he? Yeah. Yeah, did they brought up Jerry Lawler doing it, right? Is that what they said? I remember that. Yeah, Mishinoku driver and um, who one of one of the other announcers, probably Michael Cole, was like, "Did you just say Mishinoku driver?" No, Cole's the one who called the move, and then fucking JBL was like, "Did you say Michinoku driver?" <laughs> Michael, <laughs> that was funny. Uh, they got us. <laughs> Michinoku, I don't like sushi, Michael. <laughs> it actually seemed like the announcers wanted to be there tonight. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was a little different. They still want to be there. They're just like, "Well, we're getting paid, Michael." They got so their Christmas. The they got their fucking Christmas bonus tonight is what happened. That's what yeah, happened. Yeah, and Lawler got a Christmas boner talking about Lana sitting on his lap. Good. It's about time he gets a boner and comes everywhere. I want to see that. I want to see Lawler come on air again. Puppies! Tony. Up. Welcome. Okay, man. Welcome into the, the Joe Cronin Show. The first Grand Theft Auto player in the world. <laughs> it's fun to play with, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, don't, don't say that too loud. Oh, God, I can't even say anything nice about his kid. Don't, don't like say that too loud. He's only 14. Tom. Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't remember when it was, but Tony, I heard the very first time Tony called in. I think it was WrestleMania, and you got to hear it. It sounded my like, ball, it sound like my balls haven't dropped. Oh, my God. It was the funniest fucking oh, no. thing. I, I, Wait, so why? What did you say? A week apart in the summer, and he sounded like a kid one, and then he was like, hey, how you doing? Yeah, uh, yeah. It was I'm Harry Potter in the fourth it, movie. <laughs> that was only a few months ago, though. It fucking was crazy. It was crazy. Like, one week to another, my wife just started, she fell on the ground laughing from the week to the other. <laughs> 
What like, happened? The maturation of fucking Tony. Hey, Whatever sorry, happened to Balls haven't dropped yet. I wonder what happened to him. Oh, brain. <laughs> He's great. He was like, "Hi, come back when your balls drop, kid." Hey, oh, see you guys. Hi. Tony, that was good you think it's getting a push? Tell me something I don't know about this show tonight because I didn't really. Well, I missed a lot of it. Did you notice when Roman Reigns came out and no one, he didn't even get a reaction? Mm. Yeah. He didn't get a reaction either. Yeah, because really no didn't. one gives it. It was, was great. It was great like, tonight. What the fuck? There was a bigger, there was, this was an internet crowd and I like it. They were like, fuck this. Like, like, like it, was, it, it, it looks like, silent. it looks like WrestleMania 11 out there. These people are like, we've. We're smart enough to know it sucks. Why are we here? You can't blame the fans for being quiet because they know it sucks. How they well, react? The they weren't quiet all night either. I mean, th there were times where they were pretty damn loud. They were excited for seeing. Well, they know Seth when to be start. loud. They were a smart crowd. Yeah, everyone was you know, excited to get thinking, Seth and They're all Cena. thinking, "I wish we would have had an abortion." <laughs> 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 wish I killed myself back when WCW. Well, because then visit. a lot of people, like if they were real fans, they wouldn't even be in the audience. I mean, these people are dragged there by their fucking kids. Uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, well, the parents. I just go because my brother takes. If they, if they, what a fucking state! If they were real fans, they wouldn't even show up. What the fuck does that just like silent? Like if you would be there for this night, thinking you were going to get a show and you paid money, I don't yeah, know what to tell you. I see, they I, I see to you. go. They could fucking be. They could be fans of crap. Don't judge them. I'm not judging them. <laughs> it's just like I don't know what to tell you. Don't sit there quiet. Then don't what the fuck. I don't know. No, they were quiet for the fucking things that were supposed to be quiet on, the fucking things that need to get fucking brought to the attention. For example, nobody, was, like, nobody was sitting there like, CM Punk. It's like nobody was doing so that. I did not. Did anyone hear a CM Punk chant tonight? Because I did not. No. No. It, it, I did not it's no, it's not really been CM Punk chants lately. I haven't First heard a CM Punk chant in a long time. Now, I think do you guys think it was kind of funny that they picked, not only did they do, uh, Chris Jericho did uh, Ryback on the podcast, but they also did Dean Ambrose immediately. Like, I don't remember. Did he say anything about the shield and whether it was really Punk's idea or anything? I, I kind of feel like they're trying to silence everything Punk said. Oh, don't, don't worry. Everybody's doing a good enough job of burying everything fucking Punk said on its own. Fucking even JR's coming out in Vince McMahon's defense now. Fucking oh, shit. It's more, time that, that. more time that passes, the worse Punk is fucking Dave looking. Dave really called this, and Fuck everybody Punk. got in his case for this, and I was one of the people, but Dave called this. He really, it, he's right. He looks like a bitch now. There's he no doubt worse, about it. Worse every single day. Yeah, All he day. does. He is looking like a bitch because not nobody's coming to help him except for his fucking buddy Cole Cabana, who yeah. And you know it's too. bad if JR is taking fucking Vince's side. You know it's bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. JR was like, none of this makes sense to me. All the medical stuff that yeah. CM Punk is talking about doesn't make any fucking sense to me. And now I know why he didn't go on JR show because JR would have called him out for the lion fucking Called fuck him out on the bullshit. Yeah. Motherfucker. I'm going to go on my buddy show where he'll give me a safe place to tell my story. Go uh, fuck yourself. Yeah, hey, I'm just giving my friend a place to tell his story, people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> And Cole Cabana shits on Mick Foley like some little cunt. <laughs> You're right. Like te it's not. Like it's some, okay. You're right. Like it's not about really in big one, Mick. It's, uh, I mean, this is what straight edge people do, though, so that's no surprise to me. I fucking Yeah, a bunch hate. of elitist jerk-offs. I hate that are lying about it. Lying cool. elitist jerk-offs. <laughs> fucking CM Punk yeah. will bury goddamn Triple H for marrying into power. And fucking getting his spot that way, you know, by some opinion, but has no fucking problem using his personal friendship with Dana White to leapfrog hundreds, if not thousands, of deserving fighters to live out his dream as a 36 year old man who has no fucking fight experience, who's gonna get anal raped on pay per view, and I can't wait to fucking see it. I think you should fight me. I'm in his fucking weight class. You know what I mean? I make enough noise <laughs> on YouTube talking shit about him. You wanna go, motherfucker? Hashtag I'll, fight Cronin. I'll knock the go. fucking tattoo off you. I'll spend six months training too. <laughs> All right. And he's got a Gracie on his side though, and I probably Eve Torres. You might be in trouble. I don't care what he's got on his side. You know what I got on my side? I'm not gonna cry when I got a fucking lump on my back. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> fucking little cunt. You know what? Speaking of that, I want to say this too. That little pussy. He's a pussy. Uh, Phil. Phil. You're a pussy. He hates you that had too. You your knee scoped, and you fucking thought that was too much. You're a puss. That's not even surgery, you fucking fruit. JR said fucker. the smartest fucking thing that anybody has said. I, I read this interview that he gave. He said the smartest thing. He goes, it makes no sense what CM Punk said about getting forced back into action. Why would Vince, <laughs> who's a smart man, force his hottest draw back into action before he's ready? Vince has never done it. This is JR's words. JR's he's never that? done it. Why would he do it? It makes no sense. I'm not calling Punk a liar, but it doesn't make sense. 
He, and he kept going back to lack of communication. He thinks the communication, which is fucking CM Punk's worst goddamn quality. Yeah. Let's face it. I think, yeah, but I, I will say this, though. Lack of a communication is usually a cop out for, 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 for hiding the truth, too. Yeah. Well, we just have a communication problem here. Well, Gina, you know, I didn't want to call him a fucking bull faced liar, I think. You know, he didn't want to come out and just say, you know that, what? That's possible, too. But that's, you know, I mean, you could make another argument. If you want to get a conspiracy side, Jarrett's trying to get back in the company and he ain't going to do it by throwing Vince under the bunk, uh, bus yeah. and say I'm not, I'm not right. so sure I don't, <laughs> you know, believe JR 100%, but. You know, whatever. Two oh three. What's up? I'm talking. Oh, 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 oh Merry Christmas, Joe. Merry Christmas, motherfucker. Who would you like for Christmas, young boy? Uh, I would like one million dollars. I'll How give you I... a nice little stick on this biggest loser. Oh yeah, how about <laughs> how about? Hey, uh, Santa, can you get me a tie, lady boy? Can you get me? A... <laughs> <laughs> Who was that dog? Was that Dave in the background? Oh, no, it wasn't, but now I am. What's up, you piece of fucking garbage? Oh, oh no. You're the fattest one there. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I am the fattest one here. Thank you. I hey, won that award. Thank hey, you. Santa. You're the dumbest one Santa, here. Hey, listen, can't... douchebag. I think I figured out your problem. The thing is, you have no friends, and you wish we were your friends. So that's why you came in, and you, and you called it. You listened for a little while, and then some time went by. And maybe you didn't hear some things you didn't like, and then you got angry. Because we have it all the time. We have a million people following us, trying to talk to us, and we just didn't give you the attention you need, baby boy. We didn't give your attention. You didn't get it. You want to be our friends. Here's the news. Fuck you. You're a, jerk. You say, huh? you're a fucking like jerk. Person. Get a fucking friend. That's why you're giggling right now. You knew I touched you. Feel that? It's me. I'm on your skin. You bitch. <laughs> you bitch. Hey, Sandy, you know what I want? A Divas match that goes more than 10 minutes. And, uh, hey, you know, hey, Paige returned. Paige returned. Thank yeah. fucking God for that. She was a tribute for the troops. That's probably what that was. That was, was, was all taking a piss. <laughs> fucking, I mean, we need uh, Paige. I right? got a problem with this. Um, Natalia, I, I said this in my last video in one of my videos a couple. Oh, but, yeah, yeah. Go um, ahead with that Na one. Natalia had this stupid comment. She's just so stupid with her comments and suck ass. She sucks the dick of WWE and just comments nicely about stuff and doesn't want to piss anyone off. Um, it's like, well, why can we not get a Divas match? Because she said, like, well, you know, there's a lot of stuff that has to go on in the show. And I was just happy we got two minutes to be out there. Yeah, it's not like we have three hours to fill. Yeah, it's not like there's a three-hour <laughs> show, but somehow on NXT we can have one of the best matches of the year yeah. uh, with fucking 20 minutes on a one-hour show with women. Yeah. If NXT can have a 15-minute match, how the fuck can Raw... Not have more than a two minute match. It doesn't make any sense, Natalia. It, it makes sense in this regard. Down in NXT, it's called the women's title. Down in fucking up in WWE, it's the Divas Championship. Do you yeah. want, does anyone really want anyone from NXT to leave now? Because as soon as they yeah. leave, it's over. So fuck it. Yeah. I, I think they finally figured out Adam Rose tonight. I think they you finally saw the end of that fuck, bullshit. Fuck, how long has this been building? He, he should be wrestling Dolph Ziggler like for the IC title. And, and Adam Rose can fucking go. If anybody has been following Adam Rose's career, this guy can fucking fight. He can wrestle, man. The guy can go. Thank God he has turned full heel. Let's go, Adam Rose, man. Because I like him a lot. He's got the right look. He sounds great. I like Adam Rose. Can you imagine if he ends up kind of like Triple H almost did? Um, you know, but we look back on Adam Rose, like starting with the fucking bunny and these ravers. <laughs> like, oh, you didn't like Terror Rising? What was wrong with Terror no, Rising? No, Terror was okay. <laughs> I was thinking of Hunter Hearst Helmsley, but I didn't. Yeah, I know. The, 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 I think Terror was a whole. We can go back to Terror Rising, but it's actually, it's very similar. It, it is. It is. And he had that, uh, what was the name? I know it wasn't terrorizing when he was the actual same exact character in WCW that he ended up being in what? WWE. I mean, the exact same British blue blood character. Uh, yeah. It was after terrorizing. I can't remember his name. Well, Jesus Christ, son. 469. 469, you're on the loser show. Yeah. What's going on, man? Nothing, man. Just reflecting on this bullshit that WWE just said last night. Just like every fucking Christmas season. It's actually not shit. bad for a Christmas show, though, man. That's the thing. It was not terrible for a Christmas show. I mean, I it started terrible. off good. Cena and Rollins, they had a pretty solid match. I kind of noticed this. I kinda, um, 
you know, he must have been watching NXT Revolution because that power bomb he used was kind yeah. of similar to like Kevin Owens. It was man. Kevin Owens. That's what I thought of. He used Kevin Owens' move. <laughs> yeah. Cena's yeah. so like, hey, kid, I'm going to borrow this. I'm gonna kid, I'm like six years younger gonna, than you, I'm going to use this. What a fucking cunt. Mind. I thought the same exact thing. The fact that I noticed it and he noticed it too, and I didn't even bring it up yet, and he noticed it fucking... Everyone noticed that Kevin Owens should kick his ass. Speaks volume. Kevin Owens' music is awesome. Yeah, Kevin Owens is awesome. Kevin Just, Owens is awesome. Man, the, the, let's talk about that match he had on NXT did, with Adrian Neville. Did they change his name from fun. Kevin Owens to Kevin from Kevin Steen to Kevin Owens just so they could say KO? Is that what they did? Probably. Oh, <laughs> you Jesus. know how they are marketing geniuses. Well, they were gonna. They had originally his T-shirt was gonna say "Fight Me," but now it just says KO. I yeah. think they were like, "Oh, fight me." That's too. You know. They didn't want to steal it from Black scary. Mamba. Yeah. Uh, fight me! <laughs> fight me! Well, his says "fight me" on the back. It says "fuck me." So, uh, anyway, let's go to your copious amounts of notes. I know we got. Yes, more. I do have copious amounts All of right, notes. One more call before we do it. How about that? Five one three. Jesus, you, you fucking keep teasing me, you cock. Oh, make... oh, oh, I'm back again, Joe. <laughs> this isn't you. I know this is someone else. What's up? Oh, oh, oh it is Joe. <laughs> yeah. Now, who was the guy that said I had no friends? That was Dave. Hey, you fucking jerk off, friendless fuck. Who do you think it was? That was Tommy. You Sorry. look like you look like you're a bag of dope away from dying, you fucking dirty hippie. Who are you talking shit about, you tool bag? Dirty you fucking. 30? Are you doing? What are you, 30 years old living in your mother's basement? No, oh, I'm 30 years old. I'm living in Europe like a fucking king, boy. you idiot. Tommy, you're almost what 40. What are you doing in Europe? Yeah, Tommy's almost 40. 16 year old boys? Is that yeah, what I was actually. Doing? Here's the thing. I know I. Look. I'm under Why your skin, you kid. Your I hit you right on the head. You're a loser who needs friends, and you feel rejected by us. So you got to keep coming back. What kind of fucking guy keeps calling and minute. doing this? And you know what? I'm glad Wait you're calling minute. here because but, you show but, what a fucking loser jerk off you are. You can't compete with me. You can't keep up. You are not as witty. You are not as smart. And you will never, ever, ever, ever be able to hold an audience for two seconds. See Wait a minute. Bitch. I'm and you got AIDS. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> copious amounts of notes. You're up. All right. I don't get. I don't get it. I don't get the intro today. No. Because that I got under. His, I know I got under his skin on that one. I hit it right <laughs> on the head. I know it. He's got. <laughs> I've been I, waiting all week to do that. I, I'm gonna bet. <laughs> I'm gonna bet he doesn't have a dad. How about that? No. No. He, or most he, of them are just one-liners. One. They're not very long. So. Well, th just, well, think about it. If he had a father, his father said, "What are you fucking calling in that show for?" Jesus, you don't like it, turn it off, dickhead. No, if he had a father, his father would have been saying, hey, bend over again, you little cunt. <laughs> Who the fuck are we talking about? Oh, that, that douchebag. Jesse, the oblivious co-host. He always comes on after that guy leaves. Um, all right, hit the notes, bitch. All right. Ho, ho, hey, Hogan. Hey, that Tommy was going God off on Jerry. damn it, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Ho, ho, Hogan, not so ho, ho, horrid. Yeah, there's the first one. Yeah, because he was dressed up and it was like you could pretend it wasn't there. He wasn't that bad tonight. And Hogan's usually really, really bad, but he wasn't terrible. Yeah, he didn't really mess up any of his lines or anything. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm that sure, was surprising. You know how Mick Foley it's was bringing one piece, brother. We well, you know something. You know, Mick Foley was at home pissed off because he wanted. to Let be me somewhere. tell you something, dude. Don't you think Mick Foley was mad? Was was he jealous? Well, apparently he turned it down. Apparently he was asked and he turned oh, it down right. because he said he had a prior engagement that he and his word is important. So he uh, he would have he loved had some to foolish have been shit there. to do. Most definitely. Yeah, he had to kill his kid. All right, what's the next? <laughs> uh, Cena Rollins come out. They put on a pretty damn good match for it being Cena. Anytime you can say Cena in good match, it's a good night. So uh, Rollins really can fucking go. Yeah, that that match didn't bother me because they had. Um, it was just one exciting type of thing, like holy shit, we're gonna have Seth Rollins Cena now, and people are like, oh right shit, right off the jump, yeah. This this Raw is gonna be crazy, and then it kind of fizzled. Every every other match, it died. But, it did um, because they followed it with Swagger, and Swagger is fucking done, son. He's fucking done. He lost the Latingo. Well, they fucked up uh, Cesaro, so that's yeah. the, that's Vince. That's gonna be, and I'm putting this on Vince and the the people. You know, you want to talk about brass rings, you can shove them up your ass. Cesaro's fucking career right now is on WWE creative and Vince sure. McMahon. That is on him, not on Cesaro. Because sure. Cesaro did his best to work himself upwards by himself. And the fans chose him. And then fucking Vince fucking took the brass ring and put it on Frodo's dick. 
fucking Frodo's oh. cock. Boom. Swagger's right behind bombs. him now. We, the unemployed people, soon to be his new fucking chant. Good. Maybe Swagger will leave and they'll give Cesaro back the theme. Yeah, it's possible. And it'll be awesome again. Bing! Right, well. uh, Rose finally full on heel. It's about fucking time. Yeah, that walk away was like, oh shit, next time we see him, shit's going to be going on, man. I just want him to go fucking ape shit. Like, I want him to come out with a whole bunch of, like, slutty chicks and to, like, rock music and shit, you know? Just, like, this really heavy shit, and he's, like, fucking doing coke off twist shit. Yeah. That'd be awesome. My bad, and fucking... Goddamn ads going on over here. Yeah, yeah well, be careful with that because next thing you know, you're going to be freaking out hearing music and shit and fucking have a goddamn stroke. Of Dave Rose yelling at me? Yeah, fuck. Uh, I, I, this is where I wrote, I think Sho just said he was going to stuff Reigns' face. And that made me laugh because I'm a child. <laughs> <laughs> he oh, did. Man. He was like, I'm going to stuff his face. I'm like, yeah, I'd pay to see that. Uh, Reigns promos are starting to sound a hell of a lot like Cena's, and that is not a good thing. Mm -hmm. It's just not, he did a he did a little backstage vignette while I was coming out, and God, it just sounded so Cena ask. I mean, fuck. That? He's just so much better with one word. Believe that. Right. Believe Freak. that. Believe I'm that. here. I'm a Believe Slammy that. Award winner. Look at me. I'm a the Slammy best. Award winner. I'm gonna <laughs> cock my fist of the best of the best that this world has to offer I'm the beast and the best in the world the beast and the best the best of the beast of the best the Paul, beast of the best yeah, believe that say something stupid <laughs> my favorite lines ever man. that's our sign that's gonna be our sound tonight for your copious amounts there of we else. go there All we right. go now we're ready uh Boring chance during this match, show and reigns. Shit makes me want to punch babies. That's my. It's yeah. not a promo. You know, we're all talking about how um, there was a little part of me that actually thought they did okay. I, I really didn't think it was as terrible. And yeah, I, I wanted I wanted you to kind of go on that. Well, exactly how? I just convince, I, I don't know. What, it felt like a, like Undertaker versus somebody. Like, it just felt like a very. Um, I mean, it was a small little match, but I just bought into it for some reason. I enjoyed the two of them. I knew it was going to be slow, so that didn't bother me that much. I think they made a mistake with that lock maneuver in the middle of the ring. That was where it really toned down. But Dead. everything else I thought was okay. I, I was hated really, the ending of it. The ending killed it. The, yeah, the ending was a problem. That hold in the middle was a problem. But I wasn't enraged by it like I thought I, sh I would because immediately I was like, oh boy, hey, I can't wait to watch this pile of shit. Um, but so I thought it was okay. Now don't fucking everyone's freaking out though. Like I thought it was amazing. I thought no, it was not that good. It didn't. I don't know why in the world when you're trying to showcase Reigns that he can actually wrestle, you put him in there with the fucking, the fucking big, big slow. Show. Yeah. yeah. But the, what you're saying is the match didn't make you want to fucking hate fuck Reigns, and that's yeah. a good thing. Yeah, so. I kind of was like, I'm. I believe what these two guys are doing in a weird way. Sure. And I was okay with it. It was my one of the memorable things of the night for me, even hmm. though it was that not that good. I thought, but yeah. whatever, I don't know, whatever. It was okay. Um, I mean, like I said, Ryback back with the bow on. That's my that's my moment. <laughs> right. Uh, next oh. up, fucking Dean Say Ambrose. Oh. No, Sorry you got to get that. the sound clip in there. I, I apologize. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> Dean Ambrose's little weird backstage fucking things. The only the only note that I got was Santa or dude, you'll have to do. What the fuck? He was talking to like a mall cop or something. I don't even know. I wrote that. Yeah, that was really weird. That was funny. It was but weird. Just disjointed. Just disjointed. I don't, I don't understand. The lunatic fringe. Mm, so sick of that. Lunatic fringe. Lunatic fringe. Uh, it's, oh no! It's, big, no big red Rowan. It doesn't even work. Oh yeah. Well, they, cool. well, they're done with him now. They buried they're done him. With him. Yeah, he's done. You he's suck. Done. Yep. Let's let's put him out there against uh, the big slow, mm. and then get buried. Big Show, where wrestlers go to die. Yeah, pretty much. Big Show's become the fucking Siberia of WWE. Fuck. <laughs> Paul, say something stupid. <laughs> Divas crap. Uh, Natty, Natty wins. She's in line for the title, but who really gives a flying fuck? 
Yeah, right. I mean, they're they're playing up a weird angle with Nikki getting her the apron. <laughs> hey, anybody want to know the Bengals final score? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna give it away. Uh, really. Ah, uh, yeah. The, bad rating for Raw tonight because that fucking game. Jesus Christ. And because of Raw. Yeah, that's true because it's it's Christmas Raw and people know better. It's goddamn uh, fucking garbage. At this point, I saw the best thing I saw all night. Yeah. And that was the uh, move to Thursday commercial f- for Sci-Fi. Did you see that? No, I missed that. Oh, uh, it's great. I, like every superstar is in there in a therapist office, and they're taking an ink blot test. It's fucking a Rorschach test. It's oh, really? hysterical. That is. That Rorschach. does sound funny. It's fucking hysterical. It's oh, hysterical. I can't wait for that. Um, it was like the best thing I saw all damn night. Paul, say something stupid. Dust Brothers out next versus fucking Matadores, but. With weird new music or Christmas fucking theme? Mariachi music? That was weird. Uh, Why don't they just go back to their theme that they were going to play when they were debuted? You remember that? It was way better. The doom. Yeah. Ole. It was like, it was way more better. It was better. Yeah. And then for some, they go from the Ole and then the. Uh, fucking strange. Wait a minute. Man. I don't know. Uh, did they go back to their music? Their, their no, original? it's weird. It's different. It's like, it, it almost sounded Christmassy, but mariachi. It was weird. <laughs> oh, I was going to say that they. has gone Mexican. Why don't they just give them the music that they introed them with? And then all of a sudden. And I they, was, all right. Yeah, but then they debuted them with this complicated, boring song. Like, why don't they just go back to that fucking original music they had? It's very strange. They, they just, I don't know. They're just out of touch, man. Vince is out of touch. There's no question about that. Goldust gets the win by pin. Uh, or no, I'm sorry. Goldust just got pinned by a midget. That was my note. I'm sorry. A fun-sized wrestler. That's what I'll call him. A fun-sized wrestler. Fun-sized wrestler. <laughs> fun-sized. At least that karma was fun-sized. <laughs> fun-sized wrestler is also the, the nickname of Lana's clit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah I, oh, God. Where her is an ox- ox- Here's ox- the music. Ox- uh, the the no more, yeah. Oh. Up for that. Yeah, but, that's not what they used tonight. Yeah, it was, but aren't you more pumped? Very- like, like, oh, yeah, like, this sounds kind of fun. Like, I don't know. That's a little pumped up. Like, these guys seem like a deal. It's just better than fucking. Blah, 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 like nobody fucking knows. You know. I was too busy trying to figure out why Golden Stardust had to fight a two and a half on two match. I didn't understand that. That was fucking no. Weird. I, I was. I, you know what? I missed that whole match, and I, I'm glad I did because it sounds like a pile of fuck. Yeah, Goldust getting pinched by a fun sized wrestler is just something that you don't need to see very often. Uh, I feel retarded Jesus. listening to this. <laughs> Ziggler and Harper IC title match next. Uh, I was like, this better be fucking good because it, the whole fucking night was going downhill, and Harper and his bruise was beating the fuck out of Ziggler, man. In this yeah. match, that looks like it hurts. It did look like it. That bruise is sick, isn't it? My God, uh, super kick means nothing to Harper because he completely just no sold the the. He did it on purpose, but it was it was pretty cool. Ziggler wins in a really really solid match. What'd you think of that match, Joe? Um, no, I like their match again. I, I, you know, it reminded me of their, their, their ladder match because the, I don't know what it is, but I feel like those two can get better. Like they yeah. can, they can have an even better match, but they're having, they're having like the best, they're having one of the best matches of the night, but they're still not having the most amazing match that I think they could have. It seems like they're, they're protecting Harper by having these ultra physical matchups. Maybe that's you know, what it is, yeah. And I don't know if they need to, because I think Harper can go. Yeah, they're, they're, right. And they're, they, he did. I mean, I would give them... They're they're doing like a 7.5 to an 8. Um, yeah. But I know that they're capable of of hitting hitting one of these times. I don't think that they don't have good chemistry. I don't think they have perfect chemistry and they don't have bad chemistry. I think that they're capable one of these times, though, of really hitting one out of the park. Like, a, like yeah. almost maybe like a... I don't know if I want to say a... They wouldn't. They wouldn't do it. They would not do a Bret Hart Stone Cold. But they would. They would. They could have some chemistry at one point or another. Absolutely. And you know what? And the other thing I took from this match is Ziggler's push is fucking real. Z- Ziggler's push is for real. They, they, yeah, they, it's amazing. It, it looks like it's the real thing. They're not going to tease us this time and take it away. They're really giving him. This is perfect. This is what we've been waiting for forever. Um, you know, years ago, me and Tosovich talking about 
the IC title needs to be legit and Dolph Ziggler needs to be legit. Why isn't and now look at this. They've both put the both things are legit because they're making Dolph seem like this, you know, crazy badass with the title showing it around, always holding it, talking about himself being a, you know, stealing the show and they're just making that title. They're elevating each other, which is the perfect mix. He's elevating the belt. The belt is elevating him. Um yeah. it's not one way or the other. And now the belt me- seems to me is meaning more. Finally, that belt is meaning more. And Dolph I Ziggler is. I think immediately Dolph Ziggler means more, but the belt is slowly becoming more important. And I hope that builds to WrestleMania because, you know, here you go at WrestleMania if you have a title match for that belt. Hopefully, for Christ's sake, it's on the a ladder match or yeah. something like that. At WrestleMania would be great. And what people don't seem to understand is how good of a thing this is. It, when Ziggler does drop the belt. The next person is going to benefit from that because the belt just means more. So they're going to mean more. I'm so looking. I'm looking for like someone like Dolph Ziggler versus like Wade Barrett at WrestleMania or something like that. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, you know Barrett's got to come back and he's going to come back for his belt that he never lost. So that right. makes sense. Exactly. So makes Although they're both going to be face, I think it's the problem. But mm. yeah, yeah. You like you might it. have Barrett go after Rusev. How about that? <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, Piper's Pit. Piper's Pit wait, wait, was not as... Wait, wait, back this up one more second. Imagine if Rusev comes out for the whole Rusev thing and Wade Barrett comes out and then tells him, I've got some bad news <laughs> for you. I bet you the place goes fucking berserk. That would be cool. Anyway. That, but that would be weird, wouldn't it? I mean, like having him go against an international guy. I mean, since his whole shtick is against American wrestlers. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he did. I guess he fought Sheamus, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't think. I mean, I don't really see. I don't see him in that light anymore. Now I see him more as like playing, playing at the crowd. They're kind of going away from it a little bit more. Yeah, yeah like he's doing. Like he's doing what, like when Sandow was the heel, doing what, when Sandow was doing what, uh, what he's doing, what Wade Barrett started doing. Yeah. But when Sandow does it, he's goofy and funny. Yeah. And when Wade Barrett does it, it's kind of like he's winking at you, and people get behind that in a way. Yeah. So it's two different things that work, but two different things. Sure, sure, absolutely. Uh, Piper's Pit was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I was yeah. expecting <laughs> every time Piper's been on recently. Yeah. Have you guys noticed it's been terrible? You're worried. Yeah, yeah. Worried about fucking the hot rod, but you know what? He, he was manic. He was everything I like about Roddy Piper, and he scared the fuck out of Lana. <laughs> when he started screaming at her, that bitch got scared, man. <laughs> Do a Roddy imitation, though. Oh, Jesse. fuck. Jesse, you got a Roddy? Uh, uh, oh, is he person? gone? I'd motor about that bitch real good. Uh. I'm not on another tailpipe, yeah. Uh. <laughs> I'm on a phone, so I hope that shit came through. No, no, it no, didn't. It, 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 it was fucking. I know, I just come through. Yeah, no. Ah, I love the yeah at the end. Oh, I don't perfect. want you know. I remember. Oh, I know everything to say, but I can't do it. That's so beautiful. <laughs> oh my god. Scott oh. Patterson's got a tight keister. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I know him. I know him since he was a little boy. <laughs> Give me that Bret Hart promo. Yeah, Mom, you was coming back those bologna sandwiches. And- <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this is his best one, man. I'm at, I'm at, I'm at WrestleMania eight. <laughs> she slapped oh. the bologna. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I thought I thought they were going back to Hot Rod go, going off on Heenan over Santa Claus. I thought they were going to hit that angle. <laughs> Remember that when Hot Rod freaked out? Oh, on, I never uh, saw on that. He- on he- on he- on- oh my god! Uh, <laughs> you're not going to tell the kids that Santa that fire Claus. You bastard. Ah. <laughs> Roddy Piper can go yell at Tommy's. Uh, well, never mind. It wasn't oh my, my wife. Could you imagine those two? No, Roddy. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it wasn't? I thought it was her. I thought it was No, her. it was her mother. Yeah. Well that's what I that's what I meant. That's what I thought it was. Yeah, it was, oh I thought you said no, it wasn't my we wife. Should, it was, we should it was totally you might as well tell the story. Party. Tell the yeah, story. Go ahead, tell us tell your story, man. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I don't know. He doesn't um, wanna... My uh my kid's six and uh my uh ex mother in law decided that just, this is like a really good time because she's like a, a fucking commie from East Germany. To say, hey, oh, by the way, um, Christmas is in three days. <laughs> There's no such thing as Santa. Right to my kid's face. Yeah. 
Christ. That's bizarre. No, no such thing as Santa Claus. The Easter Bunny's fucking dead, and heaven's bullshit. I don't know if your wife have can, a fucking happy life, kid. I don't know if your yeah. ex-wife can ever yell at you for anything again because. Well, you know, it's funny because she told me, and she didn't think it would be that big a deal, and I freaked out. And I think it's somewhere along the line, she realized if we ever got, and we'll go to back to court for one reason or another, it's just a guarantee. I could say, look, the people over there, they're telling my six-year-old that Santa Claus isn't real. And then she's like, oh, it was my mother. And uh, you know, I have a feeling thing. that like that would almost be not believable. Like They would be like, that's a petty thing. No, no, well, you well, got to well, about it. You the thing is, I, I, I got instructions. Her innocence, Your Honor. They're stealing her innocence. You know what it is? It, it wouldn't be that petty. And I'll tell you why. It would be that petty under normal circumstances. But when I go into court, he goes, he let my daughter watch Harry Potter. <laughs> then it's not because that's that's the whole thing we're there so I was like well you fucking told her no such thing as Santa Claus you cunt you know <laughs> before you cast judgment on Harry Mary. Potter that bitch told my fucking daughter there's no Santa Claus yeah, okay. the like bikini, three days and the Christmas. chic had the bikini on and she had the 10 pounds and no $100 bill had the 10 pounds and no, she had the 10 pounds and she and the sheik had the bikini on, and she had the 10 pounds, and no $100 bill on the forehead. You're talking about a guy with a mug like a bulldog who has the audacity to get on TV with this humongous, ugly, nasty face and tell the cameraman to zoom it. Are you kidding me? Go away, go away, go away. <laughs> Suddenly. By the way. My favorite of all time, Roddy yeah, Piper. Yeah, he's your favorite. My doctor. personally, yeah, is my favorite. Especially Heel. Heel Roddy Piper is the best. Oh, he's yeah. insane. That's the thing that made Piper so good. He was... He was Have a banana. I, I said that... Um, <laughs> uh, you want a coconut? Really, <laughs> it, Ambr uh, Ambrose is really cross of Piper and um, the song called. Uh, that's why yeah. I like Yeah, him. yeah. I, I hear Brian, a lot of... I Brian Tillman thrown in. Yeah, Tillman and some Macho Man in there. Yeah, I hear all that. Yeah, all the yeah you want to get yeah. crazy? We'll go to the top of the ladder. Uh, Sorry, I'm fucking. Dean Ambrose was using my gimmick and I liked it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give me some taste of that salad, Elizabeth. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that means. It's okay that you went with Lex Liz. You're in heaven now. Best yeah. Of the best, of the best, of the best. That this world has to offer i'm the beast <laughs> it's like it's almost like he's trying to convince himself right there it's the funny <laughs> fucking, I'm, the the beast. The I'm the beast i'm the beast and the best and the best and the best <laughs> in the world no, you gotta get some of that bubble gum soda. say something stupid oh yeah you gotta buy that bubblegum soda well you know something with my ass you damn Americans! <laughs> uh, continue. You want me? To yeah, continue? go ahead. Continue. Uh, We're fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible six diva match. A page is back. Super over. Let's get her back in the mix, shall we? Because who else they got in the divas division right now? Nobody. A bunch of cunts. <laughs> We, we got another Ascension video package, but now it seems like they're coming back, or they're coming next week, and I just felt like the ending just needed a, what a rush, you know? It's, God damn, they're just legion of dooming them up. You know what they, they should you know what they should have done? They should have, yeah. after uh, Dean Ambrose and Wyatt ended, there should have been one more thing, and it would have been good if, like, somebody came out to oh. help, to help Dean or something, or something, like, weird, where someone came out. And then the Ascension got to show up and beat the shit out of somebody. That's Hit how, the fall of man on him yeah. and shit, yeah. Raw should end with the Ascension destroying the uh, the tag champions or the oh, Usos fuck. or somebody. Yeah, Jesus. Or falling off the Titan Tron. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, seriously, though, if I was in charge of Raw tonight, it would have, tonight would have ended with, because the whole show, we would have said, we would have said like three or four times, the Ascension's coming next week. Yeah. And I, what I would have done was had, you know, two tag teams, two, a tag team out in the ring talking about, you know, we're going to be next for the tag team titles. We promise that we're going to win them. Or the Usos would be the best. Just have a tag team title match at the end of the night. Just have a tag team title go. match at the end of the night. Uh, it doesn't matter who's in there and just have them come out and fucking lay waste to one of the teams. Yeah, that'd be fine. All that'd they be, had to that's do. That's it. That's it. I would I You could have even. Yeah, that's fine. That's exactly right. Why didn't they do that? Um, yeah. It would have been different. It would have been a way to showcase the tag team. Division again, 
um, and it would have been better than that fucking Christmas tree cum fest. I think that that last that main event Christmas tree match, as I'm calling it, um, would have been better placed like uh, not quite at the main event, but right before the main event or in the middle of the show or somewhere. It didn't feel like it was the main event. Put it that way. So no, you're you know giving what? it that name, right? They didn't call it that, right? No, no they didn't. They call might, it, they, they, no, they okay. called it. They called it even better. They called it a miracle on 34th Street fight. Oh, I'll tell you why it didn't. Last year. Like yeah, I'll tell you why it didn't feel like a main event, and it should have felt like a main event. Is because they've taken all the fire out of fucking Ambrose. Otherwise, yeah. you probably wouldn't have thought too much of it. I mean, I'm glad okay. that Ambrose is, is is finishing this up. But let's face it, this 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 angle is is taking a lot of steam out of both these guys. Once yeah. the this, monitor, this really should have been something to do after. Ambrose is absolutely established yeah, as the, the premier badass, which they were working on, and they're going in the right direction. This would have been an epic they WrestleMania have never stopped, type event. Uh, the feud with him and Seth, they could have carried that all yep. the way to all Mania. the way to WrestleMania. Yep, they were. There was they, no reason to do this. It didn't help. It doesn't help they, Bray. I think they want Roman to look better, and they want Bray and Roman Reigns to look better, or something. Yeah, something. I don't something know was why. does. And, and they do it half ass. They keep fucking. Jo he keeps having a job to this guy. But he gets a good punch in after the match is over. It's the same fucking thing. They're, it's like they're trying it, to I keep know, Bray. They're trying to keep Bray strong for when the Undertaker comes back. I mean, because that's, Bray's the, that's had the, the match job, that's happening. But yeah, but so I, I don't know. I, I I just don't see how it makes him look strong. I I, I don't see how it works. It just it, I think it really hurts both of them because I don't think because Bray's a heel. Right, Tommy. Bray's no, a right. heel. He can afford trying. to lose. Um, whereas if you're trying to put a, a face badass, he cannot afford to look weak. Bray can afford to lose because, well, he was just fucking jobbing a Jericho a few months ago. You know, heel. so, heels can lose and still heels be, can lose and still move just, on. Uh, All they've done with face, really, if they do it right, but they don't do anything right. No, all nothing. they've done with this th this entire run with Ambrose is have him lose. I mean, he loses in I controversial know. fashions, but it's all. Wait he does a minute, I I missed some of. I had the. The fucking show muted mostly when I was watching the main event. They didn't. Uh, um, I just thought about this, and I don't know. No one's mentioned this, but they didn't call them Kendo Canes, did they? No, uh, they did candy say cane. they did call candy. them candy. Canes. Oh my they, god! They, they, oh my Christ, that's worse. But I don't know. Kendo Canes is pretty homo, but that's it's pretty bad. <laughs> oh god! Oh but my god! You don't think this is probably the a damn gun. We could kill everybody, Michael. What I've learned <laughs> is that Americans will do absolutely anything to screw you. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Literal sense. I just meant it as a figure of speech. You know that's fucking hilarious. Cause <laughs> your entire impression of him is only the heel version. It's great. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's yeah, great. <laughs> what else are you gonna do with Bret Hart? Jesus, yeah, right? the only fucking that's interesting thing he ever fucking Don't did. Say Brad, Dad, well, Dad, you know I got kicked in the head. Anything. To pinch in a corner to stack the deck against you. Against <laughs> <laughs> you. To stack the, the deck against you. Against you. And I, and I told him, I said, good. I said, he Bill, so ju good. just just don't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the terrible thing is he looks back at that with shame. And it's just simply his best work. I, his I, best, I'll never understand it. It's the best stuff he ever did. The best yeah. stuff he ever did. And I like son of a bitch. Hard, too. He looks at what with shame. If Brett was booking it, he would have never have gone heel. He would have held the title for 15 yeah, you're right. fucking no, you're years. Right. He would have been Mr. Boring. Is he would have been the most you know, oh, yeah, he, he, uh, he already got there. Yeah. yeah. Let's face it. Shawn Michaels you know, is the no, best I, thing that ever happened to fucking Bret Hart. Yeah. I know, I well, you, you know another this, thing is. But, uh, well, you, you can say that both ways, Dave, in fairness. True. Yeah, that's right. true. You know, Vince and I, we came up with a screw job in a storage unit in Saskatchewan. <laughs> <laughs> Do you say? <laughs> Don't make you smile? Huh? <laughs> you say you're supposed to suffer for your crimes. Well, if you're not suffering, maybe it wasn't a crime. You know, I went in there last night and proved what I've been saying. Sounds like Dave Rose Mike from a couple weeks ago. <laughs> for the longest time. <laughs> 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 Federation is the simple reason that this Canadian is going to be a lot smarter than both of those Americans. He's so much better. It's like amazing. Know, he's so so interesting. Is this? I hated him. I wanted to kill him. 
And when I was Shawn Michaels guys, man, I mean that's right. But uh, all, yeah, but that's what I mean. That's what tipped it over because before, I always liked Bret Hart. I love Bret, and I really love Shawn Michaels. Yeah. And then when it was like, no, I'm a piece of trash now. And, and then the American <laughs> thing too, kind of because dug it, yeah. I also remember I have I had a lot of hate for Montreal. Like the I I'm a Bruins really? fan. Uh, Why is that? I'm a Bru <laughs> I'm a Bruins fan. So those I'm telling you I was there were nights I was like fuck the Canadians fuck these fucking fucks fuck your flag here's a white flag you fucks I was fucking oh my god I was losing Je ne crois pas, pas, you you fucking mouthful of fuck like oh my god there were nights I was screaming at the TV I wanted to kill somebody like I mean. That's how Matt, I mean, but I knew it was, you know, but, but two years before I was like, eh, wrestling's all stage, but yeah, I'm kind of still fun to watch. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I was pissed off screaming at my television. And yeah, you know, it's the funny how that goes. It, it was yeah. that good a job because yeah. it was just like, it, look, you know, Brett, Brett talks about telling stories in the ring and, and, and capturing uh, emotions and uh, reactions he couldn't have done it be more beautifully. Uh, it, this has been done before, and it's not been done as I, I got to be honest with you. It, no disrespect to Iron Sheik and Nikolai Volkov, he outdid them with the no, anti-American. You're right. It might be. Thing, it know? might be the best anti-American uh, faction of all time. Was it that really Heart is? I think. I think it's. They. You can easily make that case. Yeah, I like talking wrestling history. That's fun. It is fun. It is it's fun. all right. And I got a lot of respect for Bret Hart, man. I just. I, He's not your guy. I get that. No, and no. Is, technically. I feel technically, the same there may way not about Michael. Ever, yeah, there may not have been an ever better guy technically. But his matches were always the fucking same. And it killed me as a kid. I was just like, oh, my God. I feel like I'm. The, 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 See, the perfection well, no, I, went into kind of uh, formulating. It was, it was nice. I, think, I mean, it was yeah. good. They were always entertaining as far as like, wow, he's so technically good. I could watch it. But it. It no, was the same formula every I single thought, match. It's I like watching Ring of Honor. You see this great no. match, but it's the same match. I thought it was the opposite of that, though. I thought Bret Hart, while Bret Hart, you know, for the most part was similar, it, Bret Hart was so, always a 10. Put it this way. All right, Bret Hart was always a 10. So when you think about Bret Hart against, like, a regular old job or whatever, you're kind of just, eh. But when Bret Hart had a match against somebody else, like a Roddy Piper or a Stone Cold... Or oh, Shawn they were Michaels. special, absolutely. It was it was phenomenal because some of the best matches, if you ask me what are your top ten matches of all time, I think like four or five of them include Bret Hart. Yeah. And I'm not even a – and people are always like, oh, you love Bret Hart then. I'm like, no, I don't. It's just, holy shit, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, WrestleMania 12. Shawn Michaels, I mean a fucking Stone Cold, Bret Hart, WrestleMania 13. You yeah, know? But look at the names that you're putting on the other side of Bret Hart though. Yeah, but I, I can mean, put those names on the other side of nobody else. Well, yeah, but you, what was actually, Stone Cold's well, best match ever? So, uh, yeah, probably Bret Hart. There you go. What was Shawn Michaels' best match ever? You know, you could maybe you Triple could. A, I, you know what? I I don't think so. I think it was this Triple H feud was but, far bet far. Some of those matches with Triple H were a lot better than that WrestleMania match. I I I just that's my opinion, and yeah. I might be an idiot. But no, it's no, my you opinion. might no. I mean, uh, the, those were pretty good. But Shawn Michaels also had a ton fuck of matches, and Shawn he Michaels did. was really good. But um. But no, you I, could also make an argument with Stone Cold with The Rock too. You know, Stone yeah, Cold The no, Rock is. See, I, I didn't think that came close. I didn't think that. I never they liked were good matches. I never um, liked the. I thought they were good, and I enjoyed the intensity between Stone Cold and The Rock. Mm -hmm. But they never. They didn't have. They weren't five star. You know, they no, were they were never like, five star. Mad, but the, the type of wrestlers they were, or at least the type of wrestler that Rocky was, and Stone Cold was really coming to the end of his. I got my damn head, head son. I much rather watch Stone Cold versus Shawn at WrestleMania 14. I, I love that match, yeah. even though Shawn was injured. So Shawn he, hates that match when he talks about it. He fucking hates that match. Rock, Sto Rock Stone Cold one and two are good. It was the third one when you really started to see the, the dip and where yeah. Rocky had to care, carry Stone Cold. The yeah. three, uh, the three yeah. Rock Bottom match, yeah. Yeah, that that was uh, that, that's when he really boy, he's, Rocky's really carrying him, man. Oh God, Stone Cold's. He was old. done, man. He was Stone Cold was done at that point. Yeah, Stone he's Cold still was... only fifty years old. Isn't that weird? Yeah, he uh, could have been. I miss him. He could wish, still be in wish, there. Wish we could have him back. Yeah. Well, hell, well, son, I'm training, training well, every day. Well, hit, hit, a couple, hit, hit a point or two, and we get and we get out of here. So hit a point. Uh, I, I think I'm, we, we've wrapped that up on all the oh, good. copious amounts of notes. We've well, hit we're them good all. then. We've just about hit them all. Damn well, good show, gentlemen. I, I enjoyed it. I'm glad you were here. I'm glad it's Skype. All I don't like about this damn thing, they don't let us hit the women anymore. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah.
It's too bad. Uh, it's too bad the show started very bizarre with Skype not working. <laughs> um, but guys, uh, make sure you check out the Dead on Dave Van Kira. See what he steals from me next. Hey, um, no, you mean see what I do better than you next? No, <laughs> I'm I'm worried. This whole thing was just like I'll be on your show. I'll just <laughs> slowly take everything. I'm mining you for ideas. And even started telling you, like, I might not be there tonight. Oh, really, Dave? Every other, every couple hundred subs you get, you might not be there? Um, anyway. You know all my success is tied to you and Tommy. I love you guys. The, I would never do that. No, that's your penis. The uh, Dead on Dave. <laughs> the Dead on Dave on YouTube. Go check him out. He's hundreds of subscribers now. And uh, he puts out content like a black... If you're like, damn, I love Joe Cronin every other day when he makes a video... <laughs> But I'd love to see constant just shit just be spit out through an asshole. Well, that's Dave's channel, The Dead on Dave on YouTube. That's the best endorsement I could have possibly have gotten. There you go. I am Joe Cronin's sphincter. That's yeah. what I am. And if you like hockey, hard-hitting shit, and crazy talk, uh, you're going to like Tommy C. Uh, shot from the point. Shoot that puck. Go three leg. Lose game. Who's going to make it? Winter Classic coming, bitches. Oh, I love that morning. I love that morning. It's great. It's I great love waking up well, on New Year's. Well, doctor, gotta die here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, has anybody seen my dog? I, I tried to do Don Knotts. It just wouldn't. Uh, Don Knotts. Oh, no, man. They got to figure this out. Hey. Well, I, I thought you were doing Mike Emmerich. <laughs> oh, kind of. Yeah, yeah, kind of. He scores. See, you're right. He scores. Well, Don Knotts. That's actually who I was kind of going for between him and Don Knotts. Well, guys, I hope, the same guy. I hope I hope everybody enjoys their Christmas, you know? Look, Merry Mary, Christmas. every time an angel sings, a black man gets AIDS. Uh, enjoy uh, your Christmas. I, I don't know. I think we're getting close to Ferguson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't get me started. <laughs> don't get Run me started. Down, Run him down, Ernie. Run him down. Goodbye to everybody on Ustream. I can't stream. breathe. <laughs> or you can be like. What <laughs> 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 uh, a tribute to the troops. He did win a tribute oh, to the troops. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's nice. Slaughter yeah. gave him a loaded boot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He gave him a fucking steel toe boot, man. That was awesome. Well, let's have him lose because he's a moron and he doesn't and he doesn't understand that the TV is plugged in below the ring and. <laughs> And then he, he, he did pull the TV again, but this time he put it back in the packaging. Notice they made uh, him look like a moron again tonight, kind of. They did. Yeah, I noticed they that. They've been doing it. Made him and look like Wyatt a moron. was not over. Did anyone notice that? How fucking like the crowd did not seem to give a fuck about Wyatt tonight. Yeah, they, they've had enough of him. Yeah, they've I had enough that. of this fucking feud. Is what they've had. They've had those, of... th those guys have the worst possible chemistry. Not as far as like not not in the ring. I don't think the matches are all that bad. No, uh, you're they, right. You're right. No, the matches aren't all that bad. It's it's just the two characters. Like you, you, you had this yeah. like enraged character that his friends, his team was broken up by, and then we turned that into an almost like an, we changed that which was really working, and we put him in sort of a quasi Undertaker creepy character, and they just their stories don't complement each other, no. and it's just it's bizarre. It's bizarre. Like, like when he comes out, like when, when uh, Ambrose comes out to fight Seth Rollins, like, yeah, kick his ass. That guy's a tr Uh, Dave, we got you? Holy fuck balls, man. It's about Dude, fucking time. Fuck this. There we go. It's Skype's vault, man. This is fucked. Uh, I'm Skype. in the middle of unloading my car full of fucking groceries, so if I leave or if I unmute, you'll know why. Okay, Mr. Priorities. No, I'm just kidding. Throw you out of the fucking rumble. Throw you out of the rumble right there. All right, let's go. It's time for the raw review now that uh, Skype is sort of working. <laughs> Fuck you guys, I'm gonna have some wine and fucking listen to your banter. Yeah, it's not gonna be long, I'll tell you that. We're gonna, it's gonna be a short one tonight, so be, be around. Motherfucker, I, I stayed up for this. I, I know. <laughs> but Are you fucking kidding? Oh, heal Dave. Here oh, comes. fuck. Well, you know, I told Leah, right when you said that, I was like, hey, Leah, I'll do all this stuff because, uh, you know, Dave ain't gonna be there, so let's just. And then you. And oh, my then, God. And then you came back later, like, hey, I'm ready. And I was like, oh, wait, uh. But uh, yeah, Tommy, I pump myself full of steroids and everything. Oh, shit. To Tommy, how do I fix Skype? What do I have to do? Go kill somebody? <laughs> I don't know, man. You got me. You, you got as bad as much um, chance of fixing Skype as Dean you Ambrose has. You taught me, getting Cronin. Win. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> I was. Uh, hey, can Ambrose get a win? Is is it okay for him to get a win? Didn't he, he have Raider? He he stabbed you in the back when he comes out to 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 fight. Yeah. Um, Brought Wyatt. It's like. 
oh yeah, you're fighting a weird guy. You yeah, know, they killed this. They killed this whole thing. I they feel like the, I feel like in any second they're just gonna stop fighting and be like, we're a tag team, right? Yeah, like, why not? Any fucking moment, any moment, it's just like it's just the, something feels wrong about this whole thing. It's fucking bizarre. Man. Although yeah. at one point in time, I don't think that would be the worst tag team in the world. You know, it's hilarious. Yeah. That Ambrose just started doing a promo. And he's just like, you know, that rocking chair. I really like that rocking chair. <laughs> I have uh, a match for it. But it I, was, I tell you it was her rocking chair. She sat in the rocking chair. It was her. You know what? After she sat in the rocking chair, she sat on my face. You know, his sister's a pretty big fitness chick. She could wrestle. She could be Sister Abigail any day of the week. Who's yeah. sister? The Wyatts. Oh, uh, yeah, that Rotunda family. My God. Yeah, I get IRS coming down What, are there. they goddamn Samoan or something? Shit. Oh, man, <laughs> IRS, baby. IRS has got great genes. Yeah. Yeah, Irwin R. Shyster, motherfuckers. Irwin R. Yeah, Shyster. He's, he's That's pumping one of the up great wrestling names of all time. Was Irwin R. Shyster? Irwin R. Spinkler, you know. <laughs> well, you know Bray and Bo. They were like, well, we can only go up from here because I mean, we get to be Bray Wyatt and Bo Dallas, and you know, Dad wore a goddamn tie to the ring every time. <laughs> it's suspenders. Yeah, and bow tie. Those red fruity suspenders. Those are great. Hey, big shout out to Damian Sandow, who is doing the absolute best in a bad situation. <laughs> I don't know how bad <laughs> a lot. Is. Boy, they have dragged that guy through the mud. And he is, I, I, to be honest with you, that's about the worst angle that you could have been handed since Moppy. Uh, I, and he's handling it exactly like Perry Saturn did as best he can and doing a pretty good job. And people hey, love it. Seen Moppy. <laughs> <laughs> Moppy. The difference was when Perry sat and wrestled in the ring, it was like fucking watching Moppy fuck. <laughs> it was terrible. You didn't like Perry Saturn? I, I not, not at that point. He actually went to my wrestling school. Um, <clears throat> no, he went to wrestling. He wrestled around here. He's from here. Army Army Ranger, uh, uh, Army Ranger, by the way. He looks like one. Yeah, he's an Army Ranger and a shooting victim. And a cocaine so. heroin. Yeah, he had a cocaine problem too, but he that saved somebody from being raped. that booger wow. sugar. Loves that nose candy. That's awesome. Yeah. That's anybody that does that. He's um, like, yeah, like Perry Saturn's kind of a badass. So yeah. now that I got you guys on here, who's going to hit 100 first? SmackDown changes times or Big Show turns he, uh, baby face? <laughs> who's going to hit 100 first? Big Show is a baby. God damn it. <laughs> you know, I got something bizarre to say about that match. I was actually, in a weird way, okay, oh, no. okay with that Reigns Big Show match. No, you weren't. Is that oh my weird? god, dude! I didn't even see it, but that kind of sounds like something you'd want to puke on. Yeah, it's, really. It, it you, was. You, you like that match? I was. It wasn't that good, but I was like interested in a way. I was like, oh, nothing really happened. It ended up happening though, and then Big Show got counted out, and it was like, oh, this is. You know, they could do a bit where Reigns does a promo and Big Show cries. <laughs> <laughs> and then they throw his father's coffin at him. So, right. yeah. Somebody posted a gif the other day of like Big Show saying something to him like you're a little bitch or something and then Big Show then Roman saying like you're a bitch or something and like said like oh did he get mad at him for punching him for real? And it was like yeah. people were like freaking out about that it might be real or something like he accidentally hit him and Big Show wasn't happy. And if you do watch the tape Big Show does make a crazy mad face and um normally <laughs> But normally, when he makes a crazy mad face, it looks fa it looks because he's not 